Okay, we're back. Um, what we do is we have this portion of the hand, and I actually have one, two, three. So there should be like three, three planes. Okay, if he's holding on to this and this is tucked underneath, should have one, two, three. So I'm going to try to get three sided. So we'll have one side here, one side here, and then one side right there. That looks good. Gotta just be mindful how that grain's running. Okay, and the fourth one it goes as this portion of your hand. Okay, so let me back this up a little bit. There we go. And uh, so technically that's your hand. Now I'm trying to think because the thumb's probably underneath there, we'll probably only need four. So you'll need three going across. So yeah. You want to put and take your pencil and go about part of the way, like right there. Go one, two, three. Now that looks a little. Let's go down a little further. Okay, gives me an idea. So what we want to do is we want to um, put a stop cut. I'll show you how to do this. Not real difficult, or you can take a V tool. Um, that's up to you. I don't use V tools very often. In fact, never. Um, not that there's anything wrong using a V tool. It's just I prefer not to. And then I'll go back and notch from the top down. Do all three, and then flip it upside down. And then, or go from the bottom and go up. Okay. And you can take it a little further if you like. Just a little further. You want to make that angle before you cut it. You can do that too. Okay. There's his little hand holding on to that diploma. I'll clean all that up. And what I'm going to do here too, I'm going to undercut here a little bit. Um, so it's a little bit away from the body. And do the same thing up here. Put a little, a little cut up here. Kind of free that from... So there's a distinction between that. Okay, over here we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go up on a sleeve here. We're just going to cut all the way around, just like so. Okay. Same thing here. Just going to go down. And we're going to undercut to his sleeve. And cut that off because that seems like it's split a little bit. All right. And I have it curling as well. So what we want to do is just make that hand a little bit smaller than what what that um, robe is. Okay, see that? Same thing with the top. We're going to just take a little bit off from there as well. And we're just going to turn. We're just going to flip this like this. Okay, and we're going to turn that, that in, and then we're going to put some fingers in. Now this here, you might want to see uh, a little bit of where the thumb is, so I'm going to put the thumb on this side. I'm just going to try to get it around and try to get those th three or four planes we talked about before. One, two, okay, and the rest is up underneath his robe, because the robe's pretty long. All right, and you know I'll go back over this a little bit more later and uh, clean things up. All right, so we have his one hand completely done, and um, you can see him holding his diploma. And then over here, we're going to do the same thing. I always like putting it on with a pencil first. Um, one, two three okay and then here we're just gonna show there's a little bit of a thumb here so we're just gonna 
notch out a little spot here. Okay. Um, it's probably be underneath his coat there. So his thumb is going to come around. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig that in a little bit, just over, just like a little little triangular cut, just to give it. All right, that's his thumb there. So we're going to. I'll fix that a little bit later. I'll show you how I do that after I do that offline because I can't see it really well from where I'm sitting. All right, so let's get this portion done. I'm going to do this a little bit at an angle so there's not as many cuts. It's usually easier. See, I have that at an angle. It's usually easier to do it that way. All right. And we're going to come back and we're just going to chop that out. So I thought anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, sometimes I'll tell you. Alright, so that will give you your hand there. And I'm just going to try to uh, make that a little nicer and that as well. A little bit rounded and all that, you know, and fix that up to make that a little more rounded as well. But you get the idea. And then right here, because the thumb is right there, we're just going to put a little V cut there. So it looks like a, a thumb. I'll have to do that a little bit more offline. But again, I'm going to trim underneath there a little bit, give it a little bit of depth, you know, once we get this actually done here. All right, so now we've got to do the tassel portion and the hair and the robe. <laughs> a little more to go through, folks. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to do this little tassel. So what we need to do is put a little line out, two little lines, one. Two. Does that look about right? No. A little bit over. Okay, so it's going to go in between those two lines. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make a little cut. And we're going to make sure we're in line with this. Uh, actually, it's going to be thinner anyway because this is the row portion. All right, one, two. You want to be real careful with this, folks. That's not going to be real thin. I mean, real, real thick. And we want to put a couple of little stop cuts in there. Now we're going to cut alongside it. Just be so careful. Okay, just like that. We're going to try to clean that up and cut the other side. And I'll be back with another section to show you how to finish it up.